Okay, so got interrupted by a call, but we shut the car off and it wouldn't start back up. Um, in this situation, I would because she was uh, letting the battery sit and the battery's three years old. Um, I'd probably go ahead and get a new battery for it. Um, she asked if I think it's the alternator. And as you guys seen, the alternator did dip down a few times, but with everything disconnected and knowing that the battery is completely drained, so the car is getting no electrical help whatsoever from this battery, the alternator is still doing its job. There's no fluctuating and idle. It's still running strong. So I think just a new battery is, is all you need. I think the alternator, even though it's fluctuating, uh, that's probably about accurate for alternator that old and for a car like this. So, and with the battery having nothing in it, I think, and being old, I think if you replaced it, you probably wouldn't have any more troubles out of it. And I'll put my stuff up. Let's check out your red one. Yeah, that's oh a T top too. Is the other one a T top? I didn't look. Nope. I thought it was a hard top. Hard top. Yeah. Yeah, that's badass. Little red one. Solid on that one too. Huh. Oh. And it's a stick. Nice. And look at this guys. Pretty cool old 280Z, huh? Dotson by Nissan. Hmm? Oh wait. Oh you got the key? Look at this original car here. This looks this is original paint, right? Yep. Wow, she's got some nice cars. Check that out. You never know what you're gonna stumble across at a customer's house. This is badass. I had a uh, Mazda RX-7 like this that I traded a girlfriend back in uh, in high school. I had a Nissan Sentra hatchback. It said Andrea on the door. It said that before I bought it. I didn't put Andrea on the door, but uh, we traded cars. Yeah. It took out half the hood. Well, at least it didn't take. the door and broke. Broke the mirror. All right, she's gonna fire it up. Look at that. Like a sewing machine. Very nice. Look at that, guys. Look how nice that car is. Clean and original. What year did you get this one? So you had a... You had a problem with the 79. And right. so you bought this one in what year, did you say? 2002. Got the original Z wheels on it. All the badging, the trim. Beautiful, beautiful car. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Car girl. Nice. I was telling everybody, you never know what you're going to stumble across, you know, doing roadside. Like, what kind of customer you're going to have and what kind of cool toys they might have in the yard. The old Z tag. Emblem on the front. Okay, guys, I'm trying to back out of here. And this place is very steep. It doesn't look like it on camera, but it is crazy. That lady is so nice. What a sweet lady. I love meeting people like her. That's what makes my job actually worth doing. Is people like her. I deal with so many rude, inconsiderate jerks all day long. And to get one customer like her makes it, makes it worth it recharges me a little bit I came out here last night to do her call and uh, she fell asleep so I didn't do it because when I came down this driveway and I saw the the woods behind me show you, of a driveway I was like uh, yeah. 
I don't know if I'm going to go down that road, but this goes to show you never know what kind of people live down what kind of road. Oh, we are rock climbing. We are rock climbing up out of here. Oh, Lord. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Oh, oh, oh. That's not good. Oh, burning a little rubber. Gotta come back down and get some more momentum. Oh, man. Look at that. That's why I use these beater cars though, man. You know, I bought this one for 600 bucks and yeah, it's not very presentable and I am embarrassed to show up in front of customers with it looking the way that it does, but I have not had time to fix it yet. I do have the parts, just don't have the time. So, uh, you know, anyway, that's why I drive these little beater cars, you know what I mean? There's no point in buying something you know for 30 or 40 grand and you're putting you know a hundred thousand miles on it every year and you're going up and down driveways like that like you're just gonna tear stuff up replace parts pay you know banks for financing and dealerships for vehicles and, and you're not gonna turn a profit so I've learned a long time ago you know buy a little beater car you know and uh, slap it back together if it needs some panels and uh, bebop down the road and, and get the job done, you know? So anyways, that's what we're doing. We're off to our next car. Going down this old country road here. Watch out for the pampered pooch. Beautiful houses out here. Check that out, isn't that nice? Build another one over here. Oh, beautiful houses. Real nice farm. They got goats out there. All kinds of cool stuff. All right, so I'm gonna get off the phone real quick and call my next uh, customer.